Hello grade 6 students. This is your homework for week 6 on how our brains can help us make good decisions. And it is due October 7th. Okay, so let's talk about our brains. Well, we have three different parts of the brain that we will talk about today. They are the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is what basically allows us to think properly and make good decisions. It allows us to focus, decide, compute, analyze, and reason. It is the thinking part of our brain, and unfortunately, it only receives information when the amygdala is calm. What is the amygdala, you might ask? Well, this is the reactive part of our brain. It is basically tells us to run, freeze, or fight. The amygdala is programmed to keep you safe at all costs. It regulates and blocks information from going to your prefrontal cortex so you can react in an instant. The problem is it can't always tell a stressful situation from a true emergency. So what this can do is cause you to react without thinking. And the last part is something that can work hand in hand with the prefrontal cortex and that is the hippocampus. Well, the hippocampus is like our brain's hard drive. It stores the most useful facts. It also creates, stores, and processes all important facts and memories. The prefrontal, courses pa prefrontal cortex passes on to it. So it's basically like a library system for your brain. So let's take a look at the brain in action. Oh no, it is a large snake. So how is the amygdala going to react? So it's going to either try to fight the snake, so attack the cobra with a karate kick, or it may freeze, so freeze in place and hope the snake just leaves. Although chances are if you froze in front of a snake, it will probably just bite you and try to eat you. Or flight. Turn your back and run for the hills. So really the amygdala is going to basically fight, flight, or freeze. None of which are probably the best thing to do. How about if we somehow avoid reacting with our amygdala and we get to the prefrontal cortex? Well, maybe the prefrontal cortex could go into the hippocampus and see if there was a memory of seeing a snake before. If not, maybe it can go back and think of some like Steve Irwin videos where he dealt with a big snake. Most likely it will back away slowly, no sudden movements, always look at the snake, but move away from it slowly. Chances are that is the best way for this to avoid getting hit or struck by the snake. So if that worked, it'll get stored in the hippocampus and next time your prefrontal cortex will go straight to it. Except if the amygdala comes into place and you try to fist fight with a snake. Okay, so it's best to use your prefrontal cortex when you're making decisions. So we need to calm our amygdala by taking deep breaths. They always say count to 10 before making a decision. Take a deep breath. I know it sounds corny, but it actually works. So, a cool brain fact is your prefrontal cortex can talk to hippocampus to make even better decisions. Unfortunately, your amygdala can't talk to any other part of the brain and just reacts. So, let's try one. So, here we are. We have some students in a lineup. And then, boop, this boy bumps into this boy. So, you're going to look at it from the point of view of the boy that got bumped. So which part of your brain would react in these ways? So you turn around and punch the kid behind you. You remember the last time you got in trouble for punching the kid behind you. So you turn around and ask him what happened. Or you just turn around and ask what happened. Think about that for a second. 
Okay, so the first one is obviously the amygdala. That's the fight response. You're not going to think, you're just going to turn around, you're going to punch. Chances are you're going to get in trouble for doing that, but your amygdala does not care. It just reacts. The next one is your hippocampus. It's going to basically send some good information to your prefrontal cortex saying, wait a minute, last time we punched somebody, we, went, we got sent to the counselor's office. So maybe we shouldn't do that again. And the last one is your prefrontal cortex. So it's going to actually do some thinking, weigh up the options, and pick. Just turn around and ask what happened. Not turn around and punch, or turn around and scream, and then fall on the ground crying like a football player. It's going to actually think and react appropriately. Okay, so what is another thing your amygdala might make you do? I just said one. Okay, so this is the last stress you're going to think about, and you're just going to think about this on your own. So, now think what each part of your brain might do with this stress. So your friend takes your pencil. Okay, that's all we're going to look at today. I'll see you guys in class.